Hey guys, it's Lauren and I've got something fun today and you can maybe see by the bag a Trader Joe's in my busted bag. Trader Joe's food haul! Yay, I love grocery shopping. I love watching people's food hauls. I've been thoroughly enjoying it, so I figured I'd do one too. I don't normally shop too much at Trader Joe's. I really enjoy Trader Joe's, but I've been trying to be more economical with my grocery shopping. So uh, I go to like Costco and all that stuff. Um, does it make me a creep that I enjoy knowing what people buy at the grocery store? And then I guess I also enjoy watching people try on clothes in the dressing room on YouTube. Like. We're all creeps, but that's okay, so let's get started. Um, <laughs> excuse me, this is my lunch from Jersey Mike's Sugs. I have to show you this. So when I go out in uh, around my work, I always get lunch while I'm out shopping. So this looks like a mess, but guys, Jersey Mike's Subs, you can get any sandwich in a tub. <laughs> Sub in a tub, that's what they call it, I guess. This is a chicken cheese steak, and the cheese is stuck to the top, of course. And I can't open it, but... Um, chicken cheese steak with grilled onions, American cheese that I will scrape off and eat. But guys, people are all about like the Jimmy John's unwitch because they'll do like a lettuce wrap. No, go to Jersey Mike's. First of all, Jimmy John's only has one type of cheese. How can you have a sandwich shop with one type of cheese? I don't know. I talked far too long about my lunch. That's my lunch. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Hey guys! Sorry uh, for the change in scenery. <laughs> There's my kitty cat's food. Uh, my phone has an uh, abnormally small amount of space, storage space, so I had to wait till I got home and switch to a different recording device. So, shame busted ass Trader Joe's bag. And we'll start with the haul. So, first off, what do we have here? I've got veggie pizza burgers. So, um, I really enjoy these because I like to either keep them in the freezer at home or at work to have like a protein snack that isn't um, a cheese stick because God knows I eat enough cheese sticks. Um, so the stats on these are again one burger, 130 calories, 7 carbs, 9 grams of protein, 7 fat. Uh, they're a little high in carbs because they are a vegetarian option. I've had these before, they taste like chicken parm kind of to me. I really enjoy them. So they're a nice kind of like quick protein option. All right, next we've got ooh, salt and pepper pistachio. So I just got back from my six month post-op appointment when I purchased these and my vitamin K was a little bit low. So they recommend to supplement, or not vitamin K, vitamin A was a little bit low. So they recommended to supplement with vitamin A, but it is a fat soluble vitamin. So they said take one nuts or you know avocado or something. And I'm a bad Californian and don't like avocado that much. So I got some nuts. I do love some nuts. These are 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 9 grams of carbs, 6 grams of protein. Nuts are pretty high in fat and carbs for me, so I don't eat them too often, but I do love me some nuts. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright. We've got here. Oh this is just a bag of little baby Dutch yellow potatoes. Uh, I have a couple ingredients in this bag that are like random dinner ingredients for the dinners I'm cooking this week. And again guys, if you're interested in seeing what I'm making, you can friend me on my fitness pal which is linked in the description below and I post the links to the recipes I make for dinner when I do use a recipe in my diary. So check that out. I make some pretty yummy stuff, at least I think so. Uh, this is going to be for turkey kielbasa, potatoes, and cheddar cheese bake sometime this week. And they were like two bucks. I was feeling that price. I was like, okay, I'm going to grab those. All right. So along the same lines as a dinner ingredient, we have pineapple spears. <laughs> what an interesting name. These are just some fresh pineapple. I know you can hate on me all you want if I'm too lazy to cut my own, but it is what it is. I love, I've been totally feeling the fruit lately. Uh, this is going to go on tonight's dinner, which is spicy Hawaiian chicken burgers. Doesn't that sound great? I'm so excited for that. So that's what that's for. We've got, ooh. So this will probably come to no surprise to you guys because I am like the you know chemistry queen of snacks, more like it. I really love snacks, and so I saw these. These are savory thin mini edamame crackers. Uh, 
And they look really interesting. I've been eyeing them the last couple times I've been going to Trader Joe's. So I thought, hey, why not pick them up, give them a try. Um, for a serving size is 38 chips, 120 calories, 2 grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and 8 grams of protein. So again, these are a snack. I'm not looking for, you know, like super great stats on these. They'll probably end up being more of a vehicle for my tuna salad because I'm always looking for something like that. But I do love crispy crunchy stuff and if they're, you know, I like the flavor of edamame. It's got a little bit of protein. It's 38 is actually a lot, so I probably won't eat anywhere near that amount. But I thought they were cool. I'll let you know how they are. And then, oh, this is a staple for me for sure. This is, I always get my K-Cups at Trader Joe's. They're cheap, they're like five bucks for 12. I think that's a pretty sweet deal considering how expensive they are most places. I get the French roast, I do like a dark coffee. And this is what I drink in the mornings mixed with my Jean Pro. So these are my favorite and most affordable option of stuff. Another thing that I highly recommend and I get all the time are these little uh, Citerio salami packs. If you like salami, if you like Italian stuff, go out and get these. These are amazing. I love salami, so, you know, <laughs> that's a no-brainer for me. But basically, there are these little, like, snack packs. This comes with two. You know, you can fold it and break it, take one at a time. A little sticks of salami, and it's 140 calories, 12 grams of fat. Again, it's salami. is kind of understandable zero uh, carbs though and eight grams of protein so another alternative option for protein packs and these are super cheap like a dollar something I love these and let's see oh heavy cream this is for dinner what am I going to make with heavy cream oh I'm making a dish called chicken Dijonese and that comes with a cream sauce so cream and mustard sauce so I'm gonna use chicken thighs I'll post the recipe the day that I make that so I grab some heavy cream to do that with and I will probably utilize that for a different recipe as well because it's a pretty big amount. Okay, oh! Along the same dairy lines we have light whipped cream cheese. Now I just got a recommendation for this from my hairdresser and if your hairdresser recommends some cream cheese to you, I say give it a shot. Um, because what a weird thing to recommend. So she says this is the most amazing light cream cheese that she's ever had. I'm I'm not too worried about like fat and all that, but hey, why not save on it if I can? So two tablespoons is 70 calories, five grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. Pretty standard for cream cheese. Uh, I'm actually really excited because I love whipped cream cheese. Uh, you'll see what I got this to go with in a little bit because I'm excited about that. I'll let you know again how that is. Let's see what we pull out. Oh, speak of the devil, not the plastic knife, but string tape. This handle. <laughs> All right. The string cheese. Again, I go through a heck of a lot of string cheese. The Trader Joe's are my favorite, I guess you could say. Uh, they're the most reasonably priced for sure. These are like $2.49 or $2.99, super cheap for 12 string cheeses. I cannot get better than that. The stats on this are one string cheese, 80 calories, 5 grams of fat, 1 carb, and 8 grams of protein. This is why I don't get the light string cheese. Light string cheese only, it has less calories and less fat, but it has 2 grams less of protein. Uh, and I'm all about getting the protein from these. I do, of course, love cheese, but so these a staple for me as well. I think I have another cheese product. Indeed I do. These, this is just some sliced. Oh my god, this handle, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't rip it off either. I'm too weak. No, that, that didn't work. Oh, well. We'll deal with it. Okay, so pepper jack cheese. I got these again for the spicy Hawaiian chicken burgers tonight. Some standard sliced cheese. Trader Joe's has very cheap Dairy products. If you've never shopped at Trader Joe's, they have the best prices for cheese, I feel like. I love their cheese. I cannot rave about it enough. Oddly enough. Okay. We're getting towards the bottom. So, this is what I got to go with the cream cheese. Organic Super Fruit Fruit Spread. Another recommendation by my hairdresser. Uh, this is a blend of cherry, red grape, blueberry, and pomegranate. This is pure fruit, no sugar added, which is amazing because it's so hard for me to find sugar-free, low-sugar 
jams and jellies in my grocery stores for some reason. I have no idea why. So for one tablespoon, this is 30 calories, eight grams of carbs, which is eight grams of sugar. So you may be like, that's still a good chunk of carbs. It is, but at least they didn't add any extra, you know, fructose or high fructose corn syrup or anything like that. So I'm totally feeling that. I want to put some of this cream cheese on some crackers or some wasa crisps. If you ever seen those, those are amazing. And then some jam jam on top of that just sounds that's just like hitting all the right buttons for me right now that sounds amazing I can't wait to eat that I'm so excited I've just been totally into fruit lately all right what's this oh this is just a spice ingredient uh, I got some cumin for Puerto Rican pork chops this week and yeah Trader Joe's again has really cheap spices this was only a dollar 99 uh, this would have been like six bucks for the McCormick version at the regular grocery store. So, totally grab that. And then, oh, just some basic tuna. I love to whip up like some tuna salad. If you haven't seen my video on how to make my tangy tasty tuna, tuna, I'll link it down in the description box below. I whip that out, whip that up in the beginning of the week and keep it in a little Tupperware container and just kind of snack on it. I either eat it with crackers or eat it for lunch or just, you know, take out an ounce and Again, it's a great protein snack. I really do enjoy it. So I got their skipjack tuna. I'll get white solid white albacore a lot, or, or this is just kind of their chunk white version, I guess. Um, two ounces. We've got 60 calories, zero carbs, 14 grams of protein. Can't really beat it, half a gram of fat. Yep, that's, love me some tuna. It's pretty much one of the only fish that I enjoy. Oh, and then last but not least, because I'm a protein bar junkie, Seriously guys, I'm so addicted to protein bars. Um, this is an RX bar. 12 grams of protein, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashew, two, date, two dates, no BS. Coconut chocolate flavor. It sounded yummy yummy in my tummy. Uh, <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I review all kinds of weird bars, protein bars and all that. That's in the description as well. This has 210 calories, nine grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein. Definitely not the worst that I've had, and again, sounded good and whole foody options. I enjoy it. I got a different flavor by the same brand. This is a blueberry flavor. Yes, I will let you know, or you can check my Instagram. And then last but not least, we have a Trader Joe's brand bar. This isn't necessarily a protein bar. It's called a dark chocolate walnut peanut fig and date bar. Don't tell me that doesn't sound good, right? Um, that sounds amazing to me. This was 99 cents. Uh, yes, please. So it doesn't have, it's not, it's definitely not like a protein bar. It's more of, I guess, an energy bar. So one bar is 180 calories. We've got, where is it? I'm trying to see the carbs. That's kind of what I care about. 16 grams of carbs, not bad. And also has six grams of fiber if you enjoy that. And seven grams of protein if you can see that. So again, not the worst. I've had and I'm the flavor just sounded so good so I thought I'd give it a try and for 99 cents guys you can't beat it all right that's my collective Trader Go Trader Joe's haul and cat treats and broken Trader Joe's bag I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go over my groceries I know I love watching people go over their groceries so leave me a comment let me know how you're doing thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye